Okay, that was the Yardbirds with I'm a Man. Uh, this is Nights with Alice Cooper. And uh, stay tuned. We've got Lockdown Rockdown coming up in three minutes. And when I get back, boy, have I got a story for you. When I heard you guys were getting the band back together, I was, I was so surprised because uh, I don't remember you having a band. I, I thought this whole thing was like an urban legend. So now that you guys are saying these guys are coming back, that was, that was the beauty of the band, band is that we didn't, didn't have a structured road life. Scum, I gotta tell you, I remember those fuckers. They ripped us off. How did you ever get that name, Scum? Because when we started, we, we sucked. This is headed for catastrophe. A full blown knockdown, drag out, brawl breaks out. Every single one of us got arrested. As far as what Scum did to us, it's amazing that they're able to get back together. I don't see how any of it had to do with the music. I will never, ever date another musician again. Eaton was dating with Tracy Lawrence, but I never saw them together. My, uh, my first love. She was on the West Coast, I was on the East Coast, but you know, we still made it work for a few months. It's not true that I dated John Eaton. And there's a restraining order against him, and I would appreciate it if you changed the subject. You think Two Live Crew was crazy? Man, Scum was, like, sicker than us. Their early stuff really rocks. <laughs> Phoenix Benjamin, what is your, your relationship with Scum? Uh, uh, man, they're the baddest band in the world. It's absolutely true what you heard all the rumors. Scum is getting back together. Doesn't sound too great. I don't even understand why he, he continues to do this, why he's even involved in rock and roll. Oh, drink so much wine. <laughs> Great show, Art. Thanks.